Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, and this is the second part of restoring this standing desk. And today, we've got this piece here and this piece here. They go on the ends like this, and we're going to have to reproduce two of these spindles to match the old work. First thing we're going to do is drop the speed down to the lowest. With a four speed lathe, you don't get a lot of choices, but for cutting these corners, We'll slow it down just a little bit. goes right that will prevent splitting off pieces here on the corners as I start cutting
think that's close enough. It's time to cut this mortise in the uh, spindle. And I probably should have done that before I put it in the lathe, but since it's on a square section, it really doesn't make much difference. And I even briefly thought about doing it the old fashioned way. You simply mark it and then dig all the wood out. But I practiced on a few pieces of this uh, red oak and found pretty splintery, didn't cut very sharply, and was probably more than likely to split the whole thing wide open. So, gonna go back to the router table, set up this jig, which will allow me to go both ways, like that, and duplicate the mortise in the two new pieces. Again, that's the plan. that will do. We've come to the decision point in this project. This is the way it was originally made, where this bridge was intended to sit on top here. And apparently big ledger books or catalogs or something laying right here. The problem though is that when they started to repair it some 30 years ago, First thing they did was cut these big panels and they cut them just a little bit shorter than the originals. Which means is that the mortises for these round tenons is going to be right on the edge of the top. And we can't have that. And so working with what we have, the plan is to turn these upside down and move them in about an inch. Because if we just move them in like this, then this stretcher will be over the opening. What I need to do is move these holes over about an inch. And unfortunately, someone borrowed my hole dragger and never brought it back. So I'm going to have to drill new holes. To make that problem even more complicated, I'm going to have to drill holes in this board in exactly the same relationship. And that's a problem because these two boards are not the same size. This post that goes in the center is not actually in the center of this board. And so I don't really have a reference point where I can measure from and get it exactly right. So I have to be very careful. I have the holes in the frame centered in the frame and I have the holes in the bottom board centered from side to side as well as the right distance apart and I've only got one of these boards so the holes have to be in the right place. I've got the drill press set for 500 rpm and approximately a cutting depth of uh, three-eighths. So here goes. because we've got those lag studs in there.
The next task is to locate this hole, which is slightly off center in both directions, and locate it here so that when I put this whole thing together, I don't have a spindle in the middle leaning at an angle like that. That would be very embarrassing. So what I've made here is a custom marking device. Put it in the hole in the corner. Clamp this pencil in place. Pull out of this hole. And make a mark. Now I'll put it in this one. Same thing. these marks cross each other that should be exactly where that pole is we'll find out when we put it together now our spindles are finished we can reassemble the bridge it won't be glued down tight until after I've had a chance to sand the complete desktop and put the rest of the trim on it now the original design of this had these stretchers at the top of the frame. But if we put them at the top now and we move to the new holes, it's going to obscure the frame opening. And we don't really want to do that. So what we have here, put it at the bottom where I think it'll look just as good. And that's how it's going to look when it's all finished. So, that's the end of this part. I'm Bronze Age, director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And I thank you for watching this video. I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Go look at all of the other videos. We'll have the third part of this one, and I hope the final part coming out quickly. Thank you very much.